Hello, my dear friends of electronics. Today, I want to talk about inductance and about inductance, about the saturation current. What means, in fact, saturation current? Uh, for this inductance, this is a very small uh, 7.3 by 3.2 size. We are defining the saturation with a 10% drop of his initial value. In the most of case, you will see that. For the measurement, I will use a Weinker LCR instrument and uh, with a DC bias load. I already prepared here with some legs to connect it. The measurement condition, it is 1 kilohertz for the signal and AC level 250 millivolt. I will sweep from 0 DC bias load to maximum 800 milliamp. As soon as I start the measurement, I start to sweep above the current, so inductance versus DC bias load. And he will make every half second a step. When it's finished, we can uh, generate a graph of that instrument, uh, of, of that measurement. One more. Okay, finished. Now I will generate a DC bias load. You can see here the inductance versus current graph. So you see until 300 milliamp, the inductance is not changing too much. So it is very linear. This is the right operation for a DC-DC uh, power supply converter. And as soon you will start to drop, it's very important that for a designing a DC-DC converter that your saturation current is higher like the maximum ripple current into your DC-DC converter. Else you will not have the basket where you put all this energy. So this is very important. The measurement condition is right now here in a room ambient temperature. And um, yeah, this is only about the saturation current, which is not the rated current. The rated current is temperature dependent. Please watch my video about the rated current and hope you will enjoy it and see you next time. Bye bye.